everybody, I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Charlie's Angel Tarot on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So you can follow me there as well and you can find the links on the main page. Okay my darlings, I hope you are safe and well and I hope you've had a beautiful Easter. Although that's already nearly a week ago, <laughs> we're already on Wednesday, I will be going live tonight. and. I'm waiting for my new decks as I've promised you I would do reviews on new decks but I haven't done a review on this one and this is one of my old favorites and we mustn't forget the old ones as well so it's nice to show the daylight uh, on an old deck and I, I think I will be doing the weeklies with this deck and the um, uh, <coughs> Angel Tarot oracle deck from Diana Virtue so let me know if you like that but I'll be putting out a couple of uh, reviews so if you want to start learning tarot in at this time because we're all inside you can uh, order them from uh, uh, what you call it Amazon and then they will be delivered to your house and it's always nice to see uh, what is on offer before you buy at least that's what I think so that's why I also like watching other people doing reviews. This I got three years ago from my daughter for my birthday. And it is called the Archangel Power Tarot Deck by Diana Virtue and Riley Valentine. He's a beautiful illustrator. The box is also lined with orange paper. Pretty tough as, the, as you expect from Diana Virtue. Um, and as we all know she has left... Um, uh, the 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 realm of making decks, and she's gone become a Christian. Um, but this is ha uh, how what they look like. Uh, it shows you on the outside of the box. So I'm just going to leave that there, and you're getting a pretty thick uh, uh, booklet with it, uh, explaining uh, all the cards. Um, they're in black and white, and. And what I will p point out is is that um, the decks are color coded and they have uh, different meanings than the standard deck. Um, as you can see, when I got them for the first time, I wrote down uh, what they were, and I will show you that when I uh, go through the deck. And they're beautiful. Um, but this is how, uh, this is also, like I said, if you want to start learning, put your own little notes in the book. And I think there's even uh, space for making notes in the back of the deck, uh, in the book. Yes, just there. But not really too much. But you do have space everywhere uh, to make notes. So make little notes and that will make it easier to remember okay and uh, how to work with the arc uh, archangel power tarot deck and that goes is the forefront and you get the usual you get the explanation how they started you get different readings also something about the authors and how to uh, uh, cleanse your deck before you start and different readings different meanings as we also know this is the um, what you call it? The Gothic? No, not. Uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. The Celtic cross. That's it. You've got the Celtic cross and the three card spread, and also the six card spread. Um, but up up till now, I found that the Enchanted Dream Tarot book is really, really great for beginners. Okay. Uh, it gives you also what you can ask your querent a, a, a question and a t you can give your querent an, a task well go back and have a look at the a review of the enchanted tarot but I'm glad that there is some um, on the positive side I'm glad that there is a hole in the market as Diana Virtue used to dominate the market on decks and now all of the beautiful uh, designers and illustrators come out okay we've got the leap of faith and the leap of faith is the um, fool so I hope you can see that I'll hold them closer together so that you can see 
uh, like you see I've used them quite a bit so they are getting t tethered it is quite a, 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 um, a thick card there are thicker cards from Diana Virtue uh, these ones are somewhat thinner but because there's so many it is easy to shake them and they're glossy and then we have the magician and you're getting uh, n not only that but you get an archangel in the uh, big arcana because I'm doing the big arcana and you're getting a saying so you can easily learn from the saying and then whilst you're learning the tarot from also from other decks I would say take one at a time take the uh, original deck or the traditional deck Ray Raya Waits deck next to it and then see um, what that says and you can see the difference now if you work with color or with chakras then you can see that that is could be related to the chakras and you've got the angel in the background again you have the high priest s number two archangel haniel and he archangel haniel is also the angel of the heart uh, again you say it uh, gets a, a little uh, expression or, or um, a poem uh, an affirmation how would you like to call it doesn't matter uh, at the bottom of the card now when you um, then you have the Empress and it before for example I read uh, you've got Archangel Gabriel here time to act upon your plans create creativity is rewarded luxury luxurious or abundance restored that's the Empress and she stands basically for fertility, birth of a child or a project, growth. Um, she is also Mother Nature. Uh, she represents Mother Nature. She nurtures what she has sown until it blossoms and then you can harvest. You can get into it by getting the traditional tarot deck next to it and getting the little booklet uh, expressing what it means. And after 45 years you haven't stopped learning take that from me <laughs> okay but you listen to your intuitiveness now you've got Archangel Uriel and that's the Emperor the man of advice and tradition which is nearly the same as the divine guidance and the divine guidance where you can see it is the Hierophant he is like a cardinal okay and that's why you can just look for little signs like that and in some decks he is an other number in this deck he's number five uh, like the strength card uh, sometimes the strength card is number eight or number eleven so I'll carry on that's Archangel Sandalphon so if you are really into angels then you can um, learn the angels from this deck but there again the angels do uh, it depends who's made the deck like you know that I've got the Archangel feathered uh, uh, the angel feather oracle deck and that is an, uh, by Michelle Newton she's actually a student or was a student from Diana Virtue that's how she began and um, she uh, uh, couples the angels uh, differently to the cards but yeah I must admit she hasn't made um, a tarot deck um, but she does uh, say Haniel is related to the heart and uh, where was Haniel? Haniel hang on a minute Uriel is the root chakra but she's made an angelic, uh, angelic uh, chakra list and she's added for the the heart chakra is usually Haniel but she's added honey uh, also Shamuel to it now um, the Emperor is an Aries um, so yes um, he's pretty grounded but again Aries is a fire sign so f listen to your own feeling because Ariel is the Archangel for the grounding the root chakra okay Sandalphon so don't take it literally that the um, that the Hierophant 
is sand sandal font because an other reader or an other uh, developer of cards or author of cards will uh, might say it is uh, Archangel let's say Gabriel or Michael because of the judicial background of these two because they also represent institutions and municipalities okay the law and Michael is the sword and that means law and justice and clarity wisdom communication now we've got Archangel Raphael and he's of the lovers and Raphael is usually associated with children and in other decks he is the secretal uh, angel okay then we have Archangel Metatron the chariot yes I can relate to that because um, the chariot means going on holiday or moving home and he is the archangel for moving home and clearing chakras so that is the chariot I think they're beautiful the light that jumps off these cards are amazing well after four years they still look pretty good and then you've got archangel Raguel and even Diana Virtue changes the angel because you know the other angel deck that I've got the Ar uh, Archangels so you can compare them to the Archangels by Diana D Doreen Virtue you'll see that the angels do change then you've got empathy, uh, Epithy and Epithy is the Hermits that is the Hermits you can see that by the wand and that he's holding and the everlasting light and he is Archangel Razil then you've got strength like I said strength is usually or could be number 8 as well and in this deck it's number 11 and that is also the picture on the front of the uh, box then we've got the wheel now I'm going really slowly so that you can really see uh, what you have in these cards like you've got a number 10 so you've got numerology so number 10 is an ending a new beginning a one then you've got the wheel the wheel of fortune in the traditional tarot and then you've got the angel and then you've got the meaning so you're getting quite a lot uh, for your money well, it's worth your money let me put it that way then you've got the perspective and that's Archangel Shamuel and to me Archangel Shamuel is the angel of the heart one of the uh, angels and that's the hanged man you can see that the angels hanging upside down look for these little thing uh, tweak these so that when you see an angel hanging upside down it's quite clear that it's the hanged man now peace I couldn't remember what peace is but it's quite obvious um, that is the death card and that's Archangel uh, Azarel there's 79 uh, angels and Archangels all together then you've got solutions and solutions we look at the background what do you see solutions um, solutions solutions let's have a look let's see I think that's temperance look at that he's using the cups there you go now if you are a beginner you might get confused because you can see it a, a, a castle or a tower in the background so make sure you look very good and very well in at the card and in the background don't get confused now so that is temperance and then we have 15 the decision the decision well I know by heart because that's my birth sign number 15 is the devil but doesn't the devil look so beautiful 
Yes, she's a beautiful lady, so for a man she would be tempting. Temptation. So that's another way, making a decision to break free, because in the uh, usual tarot there are people that are bound up by and hold on by the uh, devil, and here it is a cage. So like yes, if you relate this card to the traditional card, you are caged up because somebody's holding on to you and she's holding on to the cage so the bird is not free so break free make a decision make a choice then we've got Archangel Shamuel again change your life and this is like the um, Empire State Building in New York the tower and that is also the card the tower number 16 then we go to the star and if you are a learner then it might confuse you that it is a back to front temperance card because of the two jugs so remember that that's why I said make note notations in your little book then you've got the moon you can see the two dogs supposed to represent the domestic dog and the wild dog then we have the Sun and there's an angel on a horse's back instead of a child and the dawn is breaking in all the sunflowers and then we have the new beginning and that is judgment again the family rising from the dead second chance balance 2 20 becomes a 2 so there you go you've got the numerology as well the world number 21 that was the big arcana now we're going to the ones and this is the ones or the rods or the staves is a uh, gabriel and that's orange so it would have been better if it was red but yes orange and yellow red is the color of fire so that's the ace so these are color coded again they're also numbered and again they've got the meaning underneath um, the picture and the pic uh, have a look these pictures are simple so they're not too difficult to learn but again look for little signs like the butterfly that is a butterfly, yes. Transformation. Your boat is coming in. Abundance. Then we have the four of staves of Gabriel. Then we have the five of Gabriel. And this is competition. And this is, that's why I, you hear me say in the traditional tarot or other decks that the five of ones is competition because you've got a chest game. And that is a game and that is competition so you can learn a lot from other decks then you've got the six of Gabriel the six of wands then you have the seven of Gabriel the seven of wands that is Pegasus standing your ground flying away running away but no you are staying it's like if you're going to land there on the great big white horse you can stand your ground Pegasus was really a god and he was strong the eight of Gabriel the eight of wands look at all the birds those are the ones news travel the nine of Gabriel the nine of wands don't give up by standing still you won't get anywhere but you can focus on to what you're looking towards so a new beginning an ending and a new beginning and I love this card because I call this my Cinderella card a heavy workload want to give up new beginning um, because better times are coming in because it's number 10 is been becoming a number one page of Gabriel and the fire 
Ooh. Um, the Knight of Gabriel. It's a she. Very dynamic. Speedy. And then you've got the King. Oh, sorry, the Queen of Gabriel, the Queen of Wands, and again, the cat by her feet. And what I like about this is that it's not only um, European people that are depicted, but also Asian people are depicted. They're beautiful. And I think that's really, really lovely. Also, all kinds of different cultures. They're so non a racist uh, or sexist these cards and that's what makes them even more beautiful besides the angels now we're going on to Raphael and the uh, a Raphael suit is of course water you also see that by the water that is surrounding him and then we've got the two of water that looks like the lovers but it's the two of cups in the divine light the three of cups and there's also uh, a little bit of fantasy in this um, deck like the little mermaid boom 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 and I said Cinderella the four of cups and the magic of seashells using the nature and the cups here are depicted in boxes Diana's virtue uh, her imagination was really big and again we have the mermaids and the fairies he's a fairy I think yes he's got legs so it must be a fairy a forest fairy then we have the seven of cups and their pails buckets she was so diverse in her making of the cards and then we've got the eight of cups wanting to leave the nine of cups and we've got the genie and lamp the wish card you couldn't get it any clearer than that and then the ten of cups happy families again an ending new beginning then we've got the page of Raphael I love it how it's at the beach and look at this this is a, a, a be at the beach but she's got a Persian carpet so she doesn't get toes sand between the toes just these little things they make them so nice and then you've got the knight of cups then you've got the Queen of Cups and she rises out of the water in a big chair made of a shell and this is Neptune I just love the way the story goes in this deck the King of the Sea the King of Cups then we go on to Swords and that is Michael then we've got the two of swords unicorns who else could think of that the three of swords somebody has sorrow and is being consolidated by somebody the angel archangel Michael the four of Michael lanterns Chinese lanterns you can't actually see uh, swords but you've got sort of like dragonflies on the lanterns that look a lot like swords and then you've got the fife of swords actually it looks like a garden hose he's got here <laughs> so that one would be difficult if you didn't know if it was swords uh, to depict then the six of swords you can't actually see the swords in some of these um, pictures but you see the basics of the traditional tarot card the seven of swords leaving usually it's somebody 
leaving being sneaky so this is and what it says under here there is a better course of action available to you working alone may not be the best answer reveal all the details so reveal all the details this is an oracle deck but it is yeah a little bit depicted um of uh, it, well it's a fla a power tarot deck but it's more like an oracle deck to me okay so this is really somebody that's leaving with five swords that's what this in this in the traditional card so it's actually making a decision will you have the confrontation or not okay are you sneaky or not will you be honest that's why it says reveal all the details now the eight of um, swords is usually a girl that's tied up but not really tied up and blindfolded in a circle of swords so here she's opening her arms up what shall I do Archangel Michael and she's got one foot in a, in a, a circle of rope so she represents it that way that she's tied up the nine of Michael the nine of swords you can see here there is in this deck it is a hawk that's coming through the window but usually it's an owl so use your wisdom you're too much in your mind and with a hawk I would say get an other perspective wake up don't be too much in your mind then we've got the ten of Michael usually you you see somebody lying down with uh, daggers or swords in his back but she's taking a bow then you've got the page of Michael he's flying a kite so that's the air element almost there in the corner no it's just a stone and then we've got the knight and the knight is also again a female and then we've got the queen and she's a mature lady she looks a bit like a nearly a grandmother she looks a bit like uh, let's have a look Barbara Cartland blonde hair um, the king of Michael ooh sexy man <laughs> and then we go on to the pentacles and that's Ariel Ariel look at all the gold coins ooh the ace the two I think that's magical the three hard work recognition the four of pentacles the five of pentacles here it's not a church window but a church door okay the six of pentacles you can see that things are hanging in the tree uh, a basket of apples so balancing seven of pentacles what you sow you shall reap he's waiting until it comes to blossoming but now it's blossoming time look at this all these beautiful flowers the eight of pentacles the angels giving guidance without him even noticing it the nine of pentacles a luxury life an ending of the face a new beginning the ten of pentacles a new beginning as well an ending and a new beginning enjoying the luxury of life happy families then we have the page I should have the page hold on the page and it's also a lady here page of pentacles means news could be about a study could be about a job let your imagination go it could be in a library it could be in an advocate's office a very traditional place then we've got the knight and in this one it is a man looks like a Scot 
up from the islands. <laughs> then we've got the Queen. Wow. Abundance. And you can see that she has the flowers and the King has also got flowers but he's also got fruit. Look at that. He's got fruit, grapes. And she's just got the flowers. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that little uh, see-through and um, let me know what you think on Friday or on Saturday as I'm going live for every zodiac sign uh, coming Friday and that will be on the uh, 17th I think. Let's have a look. That will be, I'll start on Friday the 17th of April and I'll be doing reviews on the uh, this week's uh, readings and I'll be using them these for next week so if you've got any questions on these cards then please um, note down the name and you can ask that as well okay and then afterwards there will be time for uh, personal questions that have been paid with donation or a super sticker Take care and love you all. Stay safe. Be blessed.